Hey guys, Peter here to tell you about the debut record from Vendette, self-titled Vendette, on September 20th as a self-release. The album has 13 tracks, 37 minutes in length, and they are an American metal band. Now, when it comes to the design of this record, I feel like this is the softest spot on the entire album. There are two songs on this record that don't make sense to me, and they are going up in ones. These are two instrumental interludes that break the fluidity of the album, break the aggression and intensity that the album has on a record where you don't really need a break. This album has 13 songs, 37 minutes. It's a short album. And in order to make the experience more cohesive, in order to make the experience a little bit more fluid and more seamless from track to track, having two interludes that perhaps would work as intros for the tracks that come after would be a much better setup for a record like this. You would still have a slight dip, you would still have a slight pause, but that interlude would kind of set up the track that comes after and not necessarily feel like it's just there in order to add minutes to the overall length of the album. In the setup that they currently are, with the design and sonic experience that they currently offer, they would also work, but in a record that has 45 to 50 minutes, where you actually need songs like this to break the fluidity, to break the record, to give the listener a little bit of a pause, a little bit of time to breathe, to catch up because of how intense the overall album is. In this setting, I don't like the way these two songs are presented. I actually feel like they take away from the overall experience that their album offers. As far as the sound is concerned, I think it's impossible to press play on this record and not think of Slipknot. Not just because two members of the band are sons of two Slipknot members, but because the band sounds a lot like Slipknot, uh, both musically and vocally. Now, having said that, it's not a copycat. This band offers a lot of new nuances that are going to become the DNA of the band. They're going to become part of who they are as Vendette. And I think this album showcases how talented they are and how well put together the overall record is, allowing you to kind of imagine what the future could bring for a band that has this talent, that has this vision, that wants to create this kind of aggressive sound. Because the sound on this album is extremely aggressive. It's heavy, it's thick, it's powerful. And I love the way that it comes across. First of all, you start to see the guitar sound creating a fingerprint, um, a, finger pr a sonic fingerprint from the get-go that stays very consistent throughout the entire record. I think that's important for any band to try to discover or try to develop what their fingerprint sound is going to be. And I think they already have it on this album. It's well established. You start to notice that that essence come forward on every single song. And I love the overall guitar experience that they put forward. It's thick, it's heavy, but there's still enough there. There's still some uh, groovy riffs, some melodic riffs that break through that thickness, allowing the overall wall of sound at times to be a little bit more textured, to be a little bit more layered. Another element that adds to that, to that layer and adds to that texture is the drums. I thought the drums on this album were phenomenal. Outside the vocals, drums are definitely one of the selling points for me as far as the album is concerned. Because they're heavy, but they're not overpowering. They match well with the heaviness of the guitars. They go as far as they can go uh, to match that intensity, to match that aggression, to match that heaviness without necessarily overshadowing it. And then they also have the ability with the cymbals to go a little bit lower and, and also go a little bit higher. So you have a drum sound that's not static, that's not in one place on every single song. You'd rather have a drum sound that creates a lot of lateral movement and interacts really well with a more connected, with a more steady, with a more linear, linear heavier guitar experience that the album puts forward. So the guitars are doing a lot on this album. They're creating a lot of movement, making the songs feel a little bit wider, making the songs feel a little bit bigger, not just infusing volume into the tracks, but adding to the heaviness, and at the same time, uh, also decreasing that heaviness when it needs to, so that the guitars can take a little bit of a leap forward in order to become more noticeable, and becoming a little bit more driven. But great drum sound that once again enhances the overall guitar quality that this album puts forward. Vocally, I enjoyed tremendously uh, the clean vocals, but the harsh vocals or the harsher vocals, it's where this album really resides. 
the clean vocals help set up some of the other style, uh, or some of the other delivery as far as the screaming and harsh vocals are concerned. I felt like the clean vocals work well uh, because they were used sporadically throughout the album. They're used more to set up certain darker, more melancholic moments within the songs and then allowing for the more explosive, harsher side of the vocal range to come through and infuse that aggression and that intensity into the tracks that's already there musically, but now you're infusing it vocally. So I, I, I enjoyed how these two styles work with one another. I enjoyed what we got out of the clean vocals, but I enjoyed the fact that the clean vocals felt to me that they were there more as a supportive cast and not necessarily taking full stage, allowing the harsher vocals, the, the heavier side of the vocal range to be the ones that dominate and, and add to the aggression and intensity that this album has from start to end. An album that for a debut record is extremely well put together. Outside of those two interlude tracks that to me feel like they're there in order to pad the overall length of the album, outside of those two songs, uh, I feel like this album is firing on all cylinders. I love the drum sound, I love the production, I love the guitars. The definition of the guitar sonic fingerprint from the first to the last song to me is really important because it allows the songs to have movement but always feel connected to one another. And then the drum presence and the lateral movement that the drum presence puts forward is something that you don't necessarily see on debut records, at least not at this scale. So it's an album that has a lot to offer, that has a lot more positives than negatives. An album that for a debut record, once again, really sets the bar high and it leaves a lot of doors open as far as what to expect from future records. As far as favorite songs are concerned, I want to start off with Paint the Skin. Dynamic, heavy, thick, these are all words to describe how this track comes at you. It's a track that has a lot of movement, both musically and vocally, and the drums really help emphasize that movement. In this song, emphasizing the movement from lateral movement, in terms of how they move through the overall thickness of the guitars that's in the middle, but also helping those guitars push forward and creating forward movement at the exact same time, making the track a lot more dynamic. Now, the song slows down uh, in the chorus, but that allows everything else around it. It allows the verses to feel even bigger, even heavier, even more aggressive. Love the groovier elements that you're gonna see on the guitars on this track. They help break the density of guitar sound that the song has, making the track also a little bit more melodic at times, and that adds great quality to everything that's put in on the table as far as this track is concerned. Next, we have Pitiful, a uh, super heavy guitar sound, uh, a, a track that has this really thick wall of sound coming at you, and the drums uh, find room within that wall of sound to coexist and sometimes breaking away from it, making that wall feel not like it's falling apart, but that it's extending itself, which makes it even more menacing, which makes it even more aggressive, even heavier. It's a great track from that standpoint. It feels demolishing because of how it comes at you, the intensity that it has. Uh, the, the vocals really help define that same intensity and that same aggression. It has a great chorus, uh, allowing the track to be really balanced when you look at it, it's a track that feels a lot more balanced in terms of how it moves from chorus to verses. And overall, it feels like a consistent banger, uh, both musically and vocally. It's just a great track all around, a track that really hits hard and it keeps on hitting. It never slows down, it just keeps the momentum going. Last, but definitely not least, one of the quickest tracks on the album, Downfall, if not the quickest track on the album. It's a really short track, but it's a banger. And just because it's short, it doesn't mean they cannot throw a little bit of a curveball at you, because that's exactly what they do. So this is a track that feels that feels and sounds very fast, very aggressive. Uh, both the vocals and the sound has quite the movement to it. Uh, it's almost like it's it's running out of time, so it's trying to pack as much as it can into this song, and you get that sense of being pushed to the edge with the way this track moves, with the intensity that it has, with the movement that it carries. And then suddenly you get this drum solo that comes out of nowhere, it's completely nuts, that breaks the flow of the song, that pauses the song, that feels completely out of place, but it's the perfect cliffhanger that helps set up 
an even, an even heavier sound and even heavier vocals that come afterwards. If you thought that the song was intense, that was moving fast, that was heavier, after that drum solo, the song takes it into another gear and it feels a lot heavier, a lot faster, a lot more powerful. The vocals get even heavier, they get even harder, even harsher, and that to me is a nice way of closing off the track and allowing for a short song to really pack a punch and offer quite a bit within it. This is it, Vendad with self-titled debut record, Vendad out September 20th as a self-release. Let me know your thoughts on the band, on the singles, hit me up in the comment section. I'll see you all at the next video. Take care guys.